Good morning, sir. Tell me, uh, good morning, sir. Tell me, can you tell me your name? You mad. Jermaine Reese Ferg. No, he's. I, I'm. You tell me what school who you got first. I have Risper. That's who you gave me. Okay. Right. Jane Jermaine, correct? Yeah. All right. Good morning, sir. You are here in 2021 CT4486AO for charge of expired driver's license. And also in case 2021 CF7249AO on charge of pay theft, leaving the scene of a crash of property damage, um, grant theft of $1,000 with damage of $1,000 or more, and reckless driving causing property damage or personal injury. State Judge White yesterday reset this case in the felony section for probable cause. Yes, Sean. But it wasn't, was it to, as to all charges or? I'm not sure. I don't have good notes from the ASA who covered. However, I did obtain a new affidavit from the trooper. Can I approach? Yes, ma'am. You already showed me, George? I gave her a copy of your car. I mean, only to the driving charges, so I don't know. I don't know. As to the theft, I'm not really sure. I don't know what the petty theft is. I don't know if it was reset as to just driving the CTs or the petty theft, grand theft charges as well. All right, this is as to the fleeing. From my notes, I have that Mr. Reesworth refused, that it wasn't necessarily a PC reset, so I'm not sure. Well, in the, um, it says on the felony case that there is a, was PC, well, the judge, Judge White, you said it for PC, but as to the traffic case, he said it was a refusal. Sure. Then the case, this both is, affidavits. This is from 6 18. I believe the affidavit partially goes to count two. At least the hit and run leaving the scene of a crash. Yeah, and the leaving and yeah, the leaving the scene and, and run. potentially count for the reckless driving with damage. Yeah, um, it's just one and three. They're still. Yes, Your Honor. Given we're, we're out of our forty-eight hours at this point, this was June eighteenth, so it would have been seen June nineteenth. So state can't request another reset. So I just ask well, that you, you find you have actually seventy-two hours. I just ask that you find PC as to two and four and ROR as to the theft charges. All right. Um, Mr. Reese said in, count, in 2021 CT 4486 AO did find probable cause for your arrest as a charge of expired driver's license over six months. You want to set your bond in case of about $500. Condition your bond, you're not allowed to operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. As to 2021 CF 7249, I want to release you in your own recognizance as to count one as a charge of petty theft, finding no probable cause. As to count two, leaving the scene of a crash with property damage. I did court did find probable cause for your arrest as to that charge. Gonna set your bond amount of one thousand dollars. Condition your bond, you had no contact with your victims or witnesses, and you're also not allowed to operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. As to count three, I want to release you in your own recognizance as to that charge of the crime of pay grant theft of the first degree with a thousand dollars or more damage. And find no probable cause as to count four. The court is going to set your bond in that case. I'm sorry, found probable cause for reckless driving, cause of property damage or personal injury. Going to set your bond in that case in the amount of $1,000 as well. Same conditions, no contact with your victims or witnesses. No, um, no operating a motor vehicle by a valid driver's license.
Yep, I gave five hundred dollars. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Daquan Gibbons. How you doing? Doing well. How are you? I am. You are here, sir, in case 2021 MM 374AW on a charge of aggravated. I'm oh, sorry, a charge of assault on a law enforcement officer and resisting officer without violence. I reviewed the charging affidavit. Did find probable cause for your arrest. I want to ask the state of Florida if they have an offer to resolve your case this morning. Not at this time, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Gibbons. Going to release you on pretrial release in this case, Mr. Gibbons. We're release you on pretrial release in this case. Additionally, your pretrial release, you're not returned to the scene of the incident where this happened, all right? You're not possessing any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be shown to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. All right, have a great day. Appreciate it. Robinson, he refused court. All right, this is case 2021 MM 4239 AO. Mr. Billy Robinson going to appoint the public defender to represent him. I'll waive the appearance. You say he refused or? He refused. There wasn't an offer anyway, Your Honor. Okay. All right, going to state his bond is set in the amount of $500. Condition of his bond not returned to the scene of the location. Have no contact with any victims or witnesses. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Baba Dave. Sir, you're here in case 2021 MM 4245 AO on charge of assault, domestic violence. I reviewed the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case in amount of $1,500, conditioning your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you may have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You will be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? My name is Bruce Davis. Mr. Davis, you are here in case 2021 CF 7280AO on charge of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $3,500. It's going to state your bond in that amount of $3,500, conditioning your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case, you not return to the scene of the location where this incident happened. You may not have any contact with any other witnesses from this case. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Who is this? Eubanks. Thank you, all the, the whole Eubanks family, if I could. Missing one more. There we go. Your Honor, regarding Mr. Hugh Eubanks, we have filed an information. Okay. Let's go with that first. All right. Mr. Hugh Eubanks. Eubanks, I'm sorry. Is it Ebanks or Eubanks? Ebanks? All right. You gotta get closer to the mic so we can link a little closer. There we go. So you can get caught up. All right. Mr. Ebanks, Hugh Ebanks, sir, you are here in case 2021 CF4395AO on a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon in count one and battery in count two based on the information that I have. I want to set bond in both of those counts in amount of $2,500 on count one, $500 on the count two. Condition of those bonds that you have no contact with the victim in this case, that case you didn't. And you also not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also, oh, is Dexter, it's not, a, um, it's not a DB case. 
but he's already signed it. It doesn't matter. He's already signed it. You said there were two counts? Oh, filed. There's an information file. That's why I'm giving them balance on both counts. So there's no confusion. An ag assault with a deadly weapon and a battery. Yep. That victim is a, is a separate instance with a BB gun and some other stuff going on. Separate instance from the case they were arrested on. Um, no weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of release. Not allowed to return to the scene, the location where the incident happened. All right, ma'am, can you tell me your name? Sarah Jade E. Banks. All right. Ma'am, you are here in case 2021 CF 7294AO on a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, domestic violence. Sir, can you tell me your name? Donald E. Banks. Mr. E. Banks, you are here in case 2021 CF 7293AO on a charge of aggravated assault, domestic violence. I did review these charging affidavits in your cases, which encompasses both um, defendants and did find probable cause for your arrest as to both charges. Now, you guys to step a little bit to that way. And I need Mr. Huey Banks to step back up because he's the victim in that case. Can you raise your right hand, Mr. Huey Banks? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? You're right. Yes, All right put your hand down. All right, sir. Can you tell me how do you know, is it Tara Jade? Is it Tara Jade or Tara Jade? Tara Jade and Donald Eubanks. How do you know them? Yep. I need you to speak into the mic. All right. It's supposed to be my family members. All right. And do you want to have contact with them while this case is pending? I don't want no contact with them, period. All right. All right. You step back, Mr. Hugh Ebanks. All right, Ms. Tara J. Ebanks, I'm going to set your bond, sorry, I'm going to set your bond in your case in the amount of $1,000. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision that you have no contact with Mr. Hugh Ebanks, that you maintain a separate residence from him. You guys don't live together, correct? Right. All right. And you do not possess any weapons or firearms, and weapons or firearms you have need to be shown to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You may not have any contact as well as Mr. Donald Ebanks since he's your, kind of your co-defendant in this case. So no contact with any co-defendants, no contact with the victim. You understand that? All right. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Mr. Donald Ebanks, 2021-CF7293AO. I'm going to set your bond in your case amount of $1,000. Going to be subject to pretrial release supervision that you had no contact with Mr. Hugh Ebanks as the victim in this case and no contact with Ms. Tara Jade Ebanks as your co defendant in that case. That you not possess any weapons or firearms, any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And you also may not, you must maintain a separate residence from Mr. Hugh Ebanks. I want to appoint a public defender to represent you in that case. State, defense, you got any questions? Sorry, I meant to ask you. You got any questions for the victim? No, Your Honor. All right. All right. Everybody have a great day. This case, in this case, we have Fisher. Is he coming? Next on the list, Your Honor. I have Fisher. Yeah, Fisher. Yes, sir. She refused court. All right. This is case 2021 CF7292AO. Ms. Fisher, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent her in this case. Um, Your Honor, I'll waive the appearance. All right. I want to say her bond is set in this case in amount of $1,000. Condition of bond, she may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. May not associate with any known drug dealers or drug users. And may not return to the scene of the location where this incident happened. We're not going to take any action on her 2021 MO 638 AO case. Right. 
Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jason Malik Zhao. Mr. Zhao, you're here in case 2021 CF 7290AO on a charge of attempted burglary of a dwelling. I did review the charging affidavit in that case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in that case in the amount of $8,000. Condition of your bond that you have no contact with any victims or witnesses. You're not allowed to return to the scene of the location where the incident happened. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You're also here for violation of probation in 2014 CF 13080AO for based on on view affidavit filed by law enforcement. The court's going to find probable cause. I'll say your bond is $0 in that case. You're a violent felony offender, sir, a special concern. You're not going to be entitled to release on your case until your violation of probation is complete. You're also out on bond in two traffic cases, 2021-CT-221-AW, 2021-CT-241-AW. Going to revoke those bonds, set those bonds at zero dollars. Want to appoint the public defender to represent you in all your cases. You have a great day, sir. I'm going to have you ask Ms. George because everything you ask me is on the record. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Laura Bretagna, Spanish interpreter. The interpreter has already been sworn. Good morning, Ms. Ladanya. This is Judge Bain calling from the BRC. I have a defendant with the headsets on. Can you see if you can make a connection? There is contact, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jose Enrique Paul Troncoso. Jose Enrique Paul Troncoso. Jose Enrique Paul Troncoso. Sir, you are here this morning in case 2021 CF 7259AO for charge of possession of cocaine. I reviewed the charging affidavit. In this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Sorry, hold on. You're also, I'm going to say your bond in that case, amount of $1,000. Condition of your bond is you're not allowed to operate, sorry, not allowed to possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You're not allowed to associate with any known drug dealers or drug users. You may not return to the scene of the location. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense. You're also arrested on a violation of probation. 2021 CF 107 AO. In that case, the court's going to find probable cause for that on view violation of probation. It's going to stay your bond at zero dollars in that case. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Does the victim need the Spanish interpreter? Yes. Yeah. Madam interpreter, we're going to switch to the overhead because I believe I need your assistance with the victim and the defendant this morning. Okay.
Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Luis Hernández. Buenos días, señor. Por favor, dígame su nombre. Luis Hernández. Luis Hernández. Mr. Hernández, you're here in case 2021-MM4249AO on charge of battery domestic violence. Señor Hernández, usted se encuentra aquí ante la acusación 2021-MM4249. Se le acusa de agresión física por violencia doméstica. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Determino que hay indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Buenos días, señora. Por favor, diga su nombre y apellido y deletre el apellido. Aira Estremera, e s t r e m -E r a Aida Estremera, e s t Aira. Aira es... T-A-Y-R-A. Taira Estremera, e s t r e m e r a Ma'am, can you raise your right hand this morning? Señora, por favor, levante la mano derecha para prestar el juramento. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, the number of the truth, so help you God? Bueno, y promete que el testimonio que va a prestar será la verdad, solamente la verdad y nada más que la verdad. ¿Lo jurante Dios? Sí. Yes. Ma'am, can you tell me how you know Mr. Mr. Hernandez? Señora, ¿podría por favor decirme de qué conoce al señor Hernández? Mi novio. He's my boyfriend. Do you want to have contact with Mr. Hernandez while this case is pending? Desea usted tener contacto con el señor Hernández mientras esta causa esté abierta? Sí, dado a que esta no es la situación, yo no llamé por una violencia doméstica. Yo necesito ayuda psicológica para el señor, no que él esté en una cárcel. Yo llamé por ayuda psicológica. Yes, because uh, domestic violence isn't the issue at hand. I called because I was asking for psychological help for him. I don't want him in jail. I just wanted to ask for psychological help. Okay. Are you afraid of Mr. Hernandez, ma'am? ¿Usted le teme al señor Hernandez, señora? Para nada. Not at all. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? ¿La droga o el alcohol tuvieron algo que ver en este incidente? Podría ser que a lo mejor drogas, pero no creo que el alcohol. Well, maybe drugs, but I don't think that alcohol had nothing to do with it. Okay. Has there been prior instances of domestic violence between you in the past? En el pasado, ¿han habido otros incidentes de violencia doméstica entre ustedes? Siempre he tratado lo mismo y la, la anterior fue lo mismo. Estoy pidiendo ayuda a gritos al Estado que me ayude a poder llevarlo a un hospital psiquiátrico, pero siempre lo traen aquí que no me lo resuelve. Well, I've tried this. Uh, last time it was the same. I'm asking, I'm begging for help for him psychological help. Uh, but every time I call, they bring him here to jail and it do this doesn't help. Well, I'm gonna have the state attorney talk to you about why that's happening. Because it seems that if you are the victim of the prior, at least three prior cases I'm looking at. Bueno, le voy, señora, permíteme interpretar. Le voy a pedir que hable entonces con el fiscal a ver qué es lo que está sucediendo, porque aparentemente usted es la víctima de tres casos anteriores. Proceda. No, eh, creo que tienen algo equivocado en la documentación, porque yo solamente tengo una anterior a esto, que he tratado lo mismo, una sola vez anterior a esta. Por lo mismo, por tratar de hacer un, como le llaman, un Baker Act. Pido un Baker Act y bajan una orden de, de ley 54. Well, uh, no, you see, uh, I've only called one, one time before. I tried to do the same. I'm calling because I want a Baker Act, no a domestic violence issue. Well, there's certain legal criteria for a Baker Act which I don't know if this case applies. However, 
señora, lo que sucede es que para que se pueda celebrar un Baker Act hay ciertos criterios legales con los que tienen que cumplirse. Yo no sé si se cumplan en este caso, pero sin embargo. The question I have for you, are you the victim in the case he's on probation for? No. La pregunta que tengo que hacerle, señora, ¿es acaso usted la víctima del caso en el cual él se encuentra en probatoria? El caso es de Balto y no, es, no tiene nada que ver con mi persona. No, it has nothing to do with me. All right. And you're, are, you not, are you the victim of the, the prior two battery domestic violence cases and the assault domestic violence cases? ¿Y es acaso usted la víctima en los dos casos anteriores de agresión física por violencia doméstica? No tengo caso eh, por agresiones con él. I don't have uh, cases for batter battery with him. Right. Were you aware of those cases before today? Pero usted estaba consciente de que estos casos existían antes del día de hoy. Los que él tiene por la aprobación, sí estaba consciente. What do you have about the one he's on probation for? But not the other cases. Pero los otros casos no. No, I'm learning about them right now. Your Honor, she is the victim of one of them. Uh, El anterior por lo mismo. It, it was a misdemeanor bad DV. The arrest was March of 2021. However, it was no info, no info due to her being unwilling to prosecute. Su señoría, ella es la víctima en uno de los casos anteriores de violencia doméstica. El arresto se llevó a cabo en marzo del 2021, pero no progresó porque ella no deseaba que se progresara con la acusación. Por la misma situación, porque lo que necesito es ayuda para él psicológica. Por eso ese caso no, yo no seguí con él porque no creo que yo deba hacer a una persona ir durante un proceso el cual no es el correcto. El, lo que entiendo y solicito al Estado y le estoy pidiendo a gritos, no sé que de otra manera lo puedo hacer, porque donde quiera que voy no me orientan, es que necesito ayuda psicológica para el caballero, nada más. Well, it was the same issue as, we, as this time. I'm just begging. I'm asking for psychological help for him. I don't know what, what else to do. I'm asking the state because he needs psychological help. Well, ma'am, it's a two-way street. You want us to do, you want the state and the court to do something, which it seems like you're unwilling to participate in the process, and neither, neither is Mr. Hernandez. Señora, lo que pasa es que esto tiene que ser y usted desea que el tribunal haga algo pero tanto usted como el señor Hernández tienen que estar dispuestos a participar no, yo... The court has limited power into what I can order him to do but it, none of it is going to really matter unless he wants to do it Los poderes que yo tengo para ordenarle hacer algo son limitados pero de todas maneras nada de esto importa si él no lo quiere hacer Entiendo esa parte pero entiendo que con la presión de su señor me haría un poco más de fuerza para yo poder llevar al señor al, al, al hospital. Él de momento está de acuerdo, de momento está en desacuerdo. Entiendo que con la orden de un tribunal, él no va a tener opción de aceptar la ayuda. Yo estoy en toda mi disposición de correr, llevarlo, ir a de médico en médico, ir a cita en cita, no tengo problema. Pero que el tribunal por lo menos le ordene a él que sea bajo los criterios del tribunal, que él tenga que obligatoriamente pasar por ese proceso. Well, I understand that, uh, but I think that if you pressure him or if the court orders him to go, he will go because he sometimes says he's willing to and then he backs out. And I am willing to take him to the doctor appointments and to all the visits, but if the court orders it, he will have to do it. All right, once again, you, we seem not to be listening to each other, or I may, I may not be communicating this properly. I cannot, without really any further information, which I don't have on this sheet, order him to go to any doctor unless he's willing to go, or he's already being seen by one. Sí. Bueno, señora, parece que no nos estamos 
explicando bien, a lo mejor no me estoy explicando bien, pero con la información que yo tengo aquí y sin información adicional, yo no le puedo a él, a, no le puedo ordenar a él que vaya a ver un médico si él no quiere hacerlo. I can order him all day to continue his treatments, take his medications, but I have little faith that somebody's already under court order, is already violated it once a few months ago, involving the same situation with you, and now he's here in front of me or in front of this court again. I don't know how you want me to interpret his willingness at that point. Yo puedo ordenarle a él que se tome los medicamentos, que vaya a las citas, pero ya él se le ha hecho una orden anterior y ha incumplido con el régimen de libertad vigilada en esa orden. Yo le puedo ordenar nuevamente, pero no creo que él esté dispuesto a cumplir con ello. He's on probation for a charge that he can get 15 years in the Department of Corrections for. That seems not to be motivating him. Él se encuentra ya en régimen de libertad vigilada. Podría, ten, eh, se le podría enviar hasta 15 años a prisión y eso no parece ser motivo suficiente para él. All right. So I asked Ms. George, was he seeing, does he have a doctor? Was he taking any medications? Licenciada, ¿estaba él visitando algún doctor? ¿Estaba tomando medicamentos? Yes, Your Honor, he was um, Park Place. En estuvo en Park Place, en Osceola. Yes. Sí. When is his next appointment? ¿Cuándo es la próxima cita? Para Julio, pero la persona que habla español, la otra persona que habla español no estaba, so, estaban buscando una persona que hablara en español. Well, I had an appointment in June, but the person that speaks Spanish was not available. So they were trying to get someone that speaks Spanish. All right. Well, this may be for not state. Are you asking me to take any action on his Polk County probation case? Licenciada, me está solicitando que tome acción en cuanto al caso de régimen de libertad vigilada del condado de Polk. Not at this time, Your Honor. All that Polk. Right. Well, Mr. Hernandez, en este momento, su señoría. Mr. Hernandez, you may be able to bond out today. Well, obviously, Polk County is probably going to come looking for you very soon. Bueno, señor, podría usted salir libre bajo fianza hoy, pero el condado de Polk le está buscando. Yeah, he already has a hole for his... Yeah, I'm sorry. And I think you're a violent felony offender special concerned by the, the charges you're facing. So you might have a 72-hour hole from them. Puede ser que tenga usted una orden de detención de parte de ellos de 72 horas. So you may have to go talk to your judge in Polk County about the reason why you keep getting arrested. But... As for this case, the court is going to set your bond amount of $1,500, condition of your bond, that you have no contact with the victim in this case, that you maintain a separate residence from the victim. Puede ser que usted tenga que presentarse ante el juez en el condado de Polk para que él le explique por qué le siguen arrestando en ese caso. En cuanto al caso que estamos atendiendo aquí, se fija fianza en la cantidad de $1,500 dólares con la condición de que se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima y se le prohíbe la convivencia con ella. Míreme a mí, señor. May not, may not give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. Se le permitirá regresar en una ocasión acompañado de las autoridades para recoger sus pertenencias. You may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Se le prohíbe la tenencia de drogas o alcohol sin receta. You be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your own, your own expense. Se le harán pruebas de drogas y alcohol aleatorias que correrán por su cuenta. You ought to take all your medications or mental health medications that are prescribed to you in a dosage that is prescribed. Tendrá que tomarse todos los medicamentos que se les receten en la dosis recetada. You are to keep all your mental health appointments with Park Place. Tendrá que presentarse a todas las citas de salud mental en Park Place. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Se designa al abogado de oficio para que les represente. Have a great day, sir. Que tenga buen día, señor. Su señoría. Your Honor. 
Yes, ma'am. ¿Podría el caballero sí, quedarse en el apartamento porque yo me fui del apartamento y él no tiene a dónde ir con su menor? Would he be able to stay in the apartment because I left the apartment and he has nowhere else to go and he has a minor? I, I, I ordered him to maintain a separate residence from you. Um, so pero, if you yeah. move, that's fine. That's some, that's, he just can't be living with you. Okay, so... Yo le, le prohibí la convivencia, así que si usted se mudó, no hay problema. Lo que no pueden es convivir. Okay, él se puede quedar en el apartamento porque ya yo no voy a estar, ¿correcto? Okay, so he can stay at the apartment because I will no longer be there, ¿correct? All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sí, señora. Gracias y buen día. Thank you. Have a good day. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Omar Hernández Piñeiro. Omar. Omar Hernández Piñeiro. So you're here in case 2021-MM4242-AO 4242 on charge of battery domestic violence. I reviewed the charging affidavit. In this case, I did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,500. Condition of your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you may have at the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. We want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Looks like you're on probation out of Monroe County. They may be trying to pick you up before you leave the jail today. It says he's a violent felony or finished special concern, but I don't see anything in his history that says he would he qualifies. If I pay the bonds, will I be able to get out? Or how would that work? I'm not sure. It, no, he's called. Yep, yeah, I guess Monroe County is already looking for you. Okay. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? My name is David Ruiz. My name is David Ruiz. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 7270 AO on a charge of resisting officer without violence and battery on law enforcement officer. I reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in count one amount of five hundred dollars, count two one thousand dollars. Condition your bond. Oh, sorry. Did you not return to the scene of the location? I have no contact with any possible co defendants or witnesses in this case. Your Honor, I believe the location is his house. I was trying to tell. I couldn't tell whether it was his house or outside somewhere. It seems like it was at 144 or 143 Charlotte Street, and his listed address in the front of okay. it is 144. I believe it's his right. home. I'll strike the no return to the scene, no contact with any witnesses or possible co defendants in this case. Okay. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Luis Francisco Goyazo Medina. Goyazo Medina. Luis Francisco Goyazo Medina. Sir, you're here in Nassau County case 2020, 2000, sorry, 2004 CT1972, as well as 2004 CT1971. In both of those cases, the judge set your bond amount of $2,999. Your bonds remain as set in those cases. Sir, do you make $800 a week? Este, no, es cada 15 días. O sea, eh, cobro eh, eh, semanal cada 15 días. No, I get paid uh, every 15 days. And how much do you get paid every two weeks? Puedo hacerle... Ah, pues... Ten, Tendría que buscarle en los talonarios y eso lo tiene mi, mi, mi pareja en la calle. Well, I would have to check my pass, my pay stops and my partner has them. You know, generally how much money you make a year, every month. Bueno, a, 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 yo me gano 14 dólares la hora. Por lo que me quitan, me quedo como en 800. Cada 15 días. Well, I get paid uh, 14 dollars per hour, and with all the deductions, I think I have approximately 800 dollars twice a month. Trabajo en para Kings en Orlando. All right, sir. I want to put the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day. Honey, did you say both of his bonds were $2,999? That's what I had. Mm. One. Oh, sorry. One is $2,999. The other one is $1,999. One case is 2000 Your One case is 2000 I think, 2004. CT1971 is the $2,999. And the other one is the 2021, 2004 CT1972. And it's $1,999. I want to put the public to represent you. You have a great day. Okay, well. Okay, hey, you as well. Thank you, Madam Interpreter. I think that's my last case. Do I have another one? Hey. Um, no. Okay. What, can Thank you make you an announcement right. in the gallery for me, Madam, Madam Interpreter, and make yes. sure I don't need anybody out, need help out there? ¿Alguna de las personas que se encuentran en la sala necesita los servicios del intérprete al español? All right, I don't see anybody shaking, shaking head, shaking no. All right, thank you, Madam Interpreter. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Christopher Manuel Cruz. All right, Mr. Is it Cruz? Angar. Mr. Cruz Angar, you are here in case 2021, CF 7276AO. Um, Judge White found probable cause for your first two charges, but didn't find probable cause for count three, I believe. The state, you have any further information? Your Honor, I wasn't able to obtain another affidavit, um, just some argument that I don't know was made by the covering ASA. For neglect of a child, the state has to show the defendant willfully failed to admit and provide the appropriate care, supervision, and services necessary, yep. and was a caregiver for the victim, and the victim was under 18. I believe in this case the child was two, Yep. I believe. Um, the child was there during the scene of this fight and did obtain a, I believe, scratch. I was, I was trying to figure out how he obtained the scratch. I, I mean, I read this this morning, too. That was, that was, I think that was also Judge White's issue, was that I think the child was injured somehow, but now it's like it wasn't, you know, the ones that we usually see mom is holding a child, they're fighting over, like, you know, who's holding the child? Hey. He pushes and knocks mom over, falls with the child, the child gets said scratch or something. But in this case, it's the fight seems just between. Understood, Your Honor. I victim. had the same questions and I wasn't able to obtain another affidavit. So right. I just wanted to make the argument. All right. Um, Mr. Cruz, I'm going to 
find no probable cause for count three of the, your charging affidavit. Um, we're releasing your own recognizance as to that charge. All your other remaining orders can remain as set. Um, no contact with the victim. You cannot possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Um, you need to maintain a separate residence from the victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement if you need it to, re to retrieve any personal items from the shared residence. You have any, you got any questions about the no contact order? Oh, so I could bail out today. Yep, you can bail out today. I didn't have a do not return on here, on my on my order. It was supposed to be do not possess any weapons. It was the one underneath it. Yeah. All right. Um, your Honor, can is this child your child that was involved in this? Are you paying child support for that child? How do you normally provide for the child? They live with me. No, but like you buy diapers, it's your job to buy food. Yeah, like I pay for all the bills. You pay for all the bills? All right, we'll have to continue making a condition in your order that you continue to do that while this case is pending so your child doesn't go without. You understand that? Yeah. Your child, or your honor, what were the bonds on one and two? I believe it was $2,500 on each count. Thank you. All right, have a great day, sir. The interpreter is on the line. Good morning, Madam Interpreter. Can you tell me your name or your ID number? Certainly. My name is Benny, B E N N I E. ID 247-762. Can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? Certainly. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you'll translate from English to Creole and Creole to English to the best of your ability so help you got? I do. All right. Madam Interpreter, I need your help with two matters. The first case I have is 2021 CF 7289AO. I have a defendant at the lectern. Can you ask me? Can you see? Ask me him to tell me his name. Certainly. Would you please repeat uh, the case number twenty twenty one? Yep. That CF. Evidence? Yep. Twenty twenty one CF seven two eight nine AO. Seven two eight nine eight zero, and that CF is in Frank. Yes, Charlie Frank. Okay. Thank you. Non K V V T C F soixante douze quatre vingt neuf quatre vingt t'as pris est-ce au cas bon moins non? Elowin Henry. Comment est le? Elowin Henry. Elowin Harry. Sir, you're here in case two thousand twenty one C F seven two eight nine A zero A O. I'm sorry. On a charge of aggravated assault, domestic violence. Monsieur Ouvini la na ka ki se vingt vingt et un C F soixante douze quatre vingt neuf huit O ka ki sou tete ouan se assult aggravé ça veut dire ou bat yon moun se yon violence domestique. I did find probable cause for your arrest based on the charging affidavit I reviewed. Moi, j'ai une cause qui est probable pour arrêter ou basé sur la fille d'avis que je suis révisé. Sir, do you need an interpreter? No. All right. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Edwin Henry, H-E-N-R-I. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? I swear. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, the number of the truth, the help you got? Yes. I right, put your hand down. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Henry? Uh, he's my father. All right. Do you want to have contact with your father while this case is pending? No. Do you all live together? Yes. Um, I am currently uh, stationed in Hawaii. I'm a uh, military. 
So I'm I leave back on June twenty fifth. All right. So June twenty fifth, you got to report back. Or are you leaving on that date? Yes, I'm leaving on that day after we report back. All right, Mr. Henry, I'm going to set your bond as follows. I need you now, Mr. Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry, je vais mettre la libération sous caution comme suivante. I'm going to set your bond amount of $1,500. It's going to come with pre-trial release supervision. You're breaking up, Your Honor. $1,500 under child release supervision? $1,500, and he's also going to be supervised by pre-trial release services. Oh, pre-trial. Okay, thank you. Moi mettez libération sous caution dans $1,600. Et puis, nous gagnons pre-trial services qui pral supervise you. I'm here, you got something to tell me? Uh, yes, I'm on the behalf of my mother. So pretty much, I just need to get him away from my mom. This yeah. is so we're going to deal with that in a second here. Okay. All right. So we no contact with the victim in this case. You understand that? Hey, it's not living. Monsieur, est-ce qu'on comprend? Monsieur, est-ce qu'on comprend qu'on pas qu'il n'y aucun contact avec victime dans casa? Hey. You may not. You must maintain a separate residence from the victim. Yeah, I've already said you can't stay in the same place with the victim. You can find another way to stay. I'll give you a one-time return to retrieve any personal items you have at the residence if you need it uh, with law enforcement. So, if it's necessary, if you need it, I'll take the police to accompany you to the same place to take the weapons of the victim. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Ou pas supposé que aucun zam. Si que ou que aucun zam, dans 24 heures temps, ou libéré, ou supposé porté au bail la police. Your Honor, C. Wing also asked for no contact with the witnesses. That was the wife yep. and the minor daughter. So we also no contact with the witnesses in this case. In a case, we go get no contact with moon who was testifying. What happened? I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. I'm going to appoint a defender public to represent you. Do you have any questions about the no contact order? Est-ce qu'on pas gagne aucune question à propos de ordonner que m'ordonner ou vous pas gagne aucun contact? Question again, c'est avec petite main, mais il pas vivre dans la c'est la vacance il était venu. C'est moi avec madame là qui t'a fait discussion et puis il vient nous parler, mais il pas vivre dans la c'est en vacances pour 7 7 7 7 ou 10 jours. C'est en vacances il était venu. Problème question gain c'est pour petite ou Non, petit, moi, je me suis parlé avec madame, et puis il devine parler tout. Mais il est venu en vacances. Et pour 7 ou bien 10 jours, il a retourné à côté de l'été avant. Parce qu'il va habiter dans l'adresse là. Ok. Sur so, qui question, Gay? Mais je connais. Et, parce qu'il va habiter dans l'adresse là. Et je ne vais pas l'autre côté pour m'aller. C'est moi-même, madame, nan, qui est entrée sur Haïti, qui a vécu dans la là avec mon petit fils, et puis madame. Nan. Vous voulez madame qui a le travail, c'est moi qui ai été dans la caille avec petit là. Ok. My question is about my child who is only here on vacation for 7 or 10 days. My wife and I, we were just arguing and he got involved. The interpreter said, so what is the question? My child does not live here. He's going back in 7 to 10 days and he got involved. Myself and my wife came from Haiti and living in the house with a small child. When my wife goes to work, I'm the one who stays with the small child, and I don't have anywhere to go. Your Honor, may I speak? I don't have, you have an attorney. you got to work that out with your attorney. As to what your child's daycare situation is, but you're not having any contact with those witnesses while this case is pending. You also not have any contact with the victim in this case. 
Bon, ça son bagaille pour le régler avec avocat. Quand il s'agit de Timoun, non, c'est pour chercher une façon pour situation pour garder. Alors, dans le cas ça, tu n'as aucun contact avec ni témoin ni victime. Oui. Oui. Bonne sir. Monsieur, bonne journée. Ok, thank you. Your Honor, the interpreter is ready for your instructions. Um, I have one, one more case. Certainly. Uh, the case number is 2021 MM 4240 AL. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Bonjour, monsieur. Est-ce que vous avez un nom? Wilner Miguel. Wilner Miguel. Sir, you're here in case 2021 MM 4240 AL on charge of battery domestic violence. Monsieur, vous venez dans le cas de 2021 MM 4248O. C'est pour violence domestique parce que vous battez le monde. I reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Moi revisé affidavit na casa et moi joine que arrestation là li gen cause qui probable. Miss Davis, why didn't he qualify? He can qualify. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Miguel, I'm going to set your bond amount on $250. It's going to cover pre-trial release supervision. Monsieur Miguel, I'm going to sous liberation sous caution dans $250 qui pour couvrir service pre-trial. Ça veut dire ou pral gagner mon pre-trial services yo qui pral superviser. You to have no contact with the victim in this case. Qui go prend aucun contact avec victime dans le cas. You must maintain a separate residence from this victim. Ou supposé à rester en côté séparé de victime. Nan. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at the location. Si que ou besoin, moi ça fait police accompagner ou pour ne pas dans le cas là juste pour prendre tout affaire personnelle. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Piga ou gen aucun zam. Sou gen zam, kon yo libere ou. Ou ap gen jusqu'à 24 ou etan pou retoune tout zam kon gen yo by la police. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Ma pral appointe yo defender public ki pou represente ou. Do you have any questions about the no contact order, sir? Monsieur, est-ce qu'on pas eu aucune question à propos de l'ordre que m'a ou pour pas pour pas en contact avec mon nom qu'on victimise? Non, parce que m'a eu aucun côté pour m'aller, m'a eu aucun côté pour m'aller. Non, parce que je n'ai pas eu d'autre côté pour m'aller. Je ne sais pas. All right. All right, you have a great day, sir. Monsieur, bonne journée. Thank you, Madam Attorney. I think that was my last Creole case. Thank you, Your Honor, for using our services. Good day. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Gary Lee Hudai. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF7262AO on charges of. Sorry. 
grant theft, motor vehicle, possession of a controlled substance, and petty theft. You're also here in case 2021 CF 7282 on charges of reckless driving, attaching a tag to license plate or vehicle not assigned, leaving the scene of a crash with injuries, and driving license suspended as a third or subsequent offender. Did you have any additional information from these two cases? No, Your Honor. State was asking for an additional 24. All right. I think. Based on this warrant, is there going to reset your case for tomorrow? At one point, the public defender represents you in both these matters. Okay. The state look. I thought it reset yesterday. Yes, sir. Reset yesterday and today. Yeah, well, I can reset it up to 72 hours, actually 96 hours, if I, I mean, but the second, like, when it gets a little after the 48 hours, we got to start talking a little bit different questions. But based on, I think there's uh, something here, but so I want to say just to fill in those small gaps. Have a great day, sir. No, it's 40, it's going to be set 24 hours. So we'll be at the total number, not the... Yeah, you can. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, okay. No problem. Is there, does she need to interpret? Ma'am, do you need an interpreter as well? No. All right. All right. Well, we got a call back. Apparently, we lost our interpreter. We lost our interpreter, so have you step out for a moment, ma'am, to have a seat? Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Gene Clubbert. Mr. Hover, you're here. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Gene, you're here in case. Is the first first name Gene or last name Gene? Last name is Gene. All right, Mr. Gene, you're here in case 2021 MM 371AW on charge of pay theft. If you the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest, stays in offer. Not at this time, Your Honor. It's enhanceable. I'm going to stay your bond, a certain amount of $250. Condition your bond, no return to the scene of the location. No contact with victims or witnesses. Want to appoint a public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. So I have a two hundred fifty bond dollar bond. I don't have any sentence. No. So I get out today. If you could bond out, yes. So if I can't bond out, I can't get out. That would be correct. You got to talk to the. There, you can file a bond motion in front of your division judge. Have a great day, sir. All right. Give Mr. Chen back. Hello, hello. 喂, 你好, All right, well, good morning, Madam Interpreter. Can you tell me your name and give me your ID number? Sure, my name is Song Tao, S O N G T A O, ID 254334. And can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? Sure. You saw me swear you're translated from Mandarin to English and English to Mandarin as, as your best of your ability, so help you got. Yes, I do. Ma'am, I need your help with one case. The case number is case 2021-MM377-AW. I'd be more than happy to assist you, sir. Can you ask, I have a defendant at the lectern. Can you, good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Is Chen. Sir, you're here in case 2021 MM 377 AW on charges of battery, domestic violence, and resisting an officer without violence. 
啊，你的这个案子呢？你今天的案子是案件的号码是2 0 2 1 MM 3 7 7 8 W 这个案子。那这个案子呢，是一个违反那个电池的什么规定的一个案子，对吗？我没有很明白你刚才说的意思。啊、uh, ，I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, those are the charges you're facing. I found probable cause for your arrest. The reason why you're here, those two charges. 啊、uh, ，你今天在这里来呢，是因为你面临三项指控。Ma'am, can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Stephanie, last name is L I. And can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, the number of the truth, to help you God? Yes. All right. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Chen? It's my husband. And. Are you all legally married? Yes. Right. And do you want to have contact with your husband while this case is pending? I do not want to. Right. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this case? Alcohol is being involved. Right. Mr. Chen, The court found a probable cause for the two charges you're facing. We're going to set your bond in count one in amount of five hundred dollars, and count two we're going to stay it at one hundred dollars. 嗯，啊，陈先生，就是你现在面临的指控呢，啊，就是是那个，就是那个保释金啊，第一个指控保释金是五百块，第二项指控的保释金是一百块。You'll be subject to pretrial release supervision. Can you repeat what you just said, Yonar?、Uh, he'll, he'll be subject to pretrial. Well, he'll be subject to supervision, supervision by pretrial release services. 嗯哼，啊，就是你会，然后接下来呢，你这个案子会，然后再重新安排庭审。呃，会有专门的相关的那个工作人员帮你重新安排庭审。Yes, ma'am. Ah,、uh, Yonar, can you order divorce order as well? In the court, or I have to. Do... I can't. I say that again. Say it one more time. Divorce order. Divorce, Your Honor. No, I, this, I'm not the judge for that. You have to file in the family court for that. Okay. This is a criminal court, like criminal court proceeding. That's a family court proceeding in front of a circuit judge. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chen, I'm also going to order that you have no contact with the victim in this case. 嗯啊，陈先生，我同时呢也会下达说你跟这个呃，你跟呃受害者之间不能有任何联系的这样一个命令。I'm not sure if we have a Mandarin no contact order, so I'm going to cover this with you. Yeah. Over there, okay. But still, sir, you have absolutely zero any form of contact with the victim in this case. 啊、uh, ，那陈先生在这个案件当中呢，你跟这个受害人之间不能有任何的联系。You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. 嗯，然后呢，你必须要保持跟这个受害人之间保持分开的一个状态。I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you may have at the location. Hello. Oh, sorry,、uh, ma'am. Get her one time. Yep, you know, one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items he has at the location. We're losing you here, I think. Madam Interpreter. Madam Interpreter. Is anybody still there, or she? She's gone. All right, we gotta get an interpreter back. Step back, Mr. Chen. We'll finish up with the proceedings once I can get. I leave now, Your Honor. Um, you can as your choice. Um, but if you want to hear all the conditions, I'm going to lay out. I want to order to give him a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items he has at the location. He cannot possess any weapons or firearms. He has to return to law enforcement. I may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. I want to subject him to random drug and alcohol testing. That's what's going to happen today. And I have one more question for you.、Um, the you guys have two children. Yes.、Um, you guys have a joint account that you guys pay money out of to support those children, or how does、yes. how, how support done for those children? We we support fifty and fifty. All right. So you guys have separate accounts and then have a account. Joint account. 
joint account. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna make a condition that he continue to like pay into that account to support the children. Okay. While it's like in, while this case is pending. All right. Okay. Thank you, Honor. Have a great day. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll deal with it as it comes about. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Hi, sir, my name is Hiram Antonio Maldonado. Mr. Maldonado, you're here for violation of probation. It's based on on view arrests and two matters. Um, first, 2010 CF two six seven zero one, and the other one's 2012 CF six three one. State, did you have any other information from this case? No, Your Honor. All right. Um, Mr. Malnau, I want to, I do agree with Judge White. Um, talks about everybody else that was in that car but him in the affidavit. So I'm not going to find any probable cause for your on-view arrest. Uh, doesn't stop you from being held for 72 hours. Um, for them to figure out whether they're going to file an affidavit for your violation of probation during that time. I have two cases. And your RORM on both? Yeah, I'm really RORM would find no probable cause for the on view violation. But it doesn't, there's still the same factors. Still, you still get a 72 hour hold for probation to figure out whether they're going to file an affidavit against you. So I'm in uh, contact with my PO so I can just call her? Yeah, you can call her. I'm quite sure that she's aware that you're here. There's no further hold, Your Honor. Okay. There's no further hold. Yep. Yeah. No, do not. Who? Do not give them the 72 hour hold? The vehicle SC detainer has been released by Sheila Ortiz. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Then, I guess not. I guess you're not. They're not holding you. All right. Have a great day, sir. What does that mean? Do I go home? Yeah, but you may want to make some better decisions about who you hang out with based on the charges you are on probation for. Because, um, yeah, unless you want to go to the DOC, I mean, <laughs> have a great day. TRR race. When we can finally get. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Thomas David McCraney. So are you here in case 2021 CF 7233AO on the charge of possession of cocaine? They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for whoa, sorry, this is yeah, I think this is he was here. Yeah, probable cause for your arrest. It's going to stay your bond amount of one thousand dollars. Condition your bond that you not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol by a valid prescription. You not return to the scene of location where this incident happened. You also not associate yourself with any drug, known drug users or drug dealers. We're going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Yes, sir. This says he has a hold from Polk County. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so I guess you're some kind of hold from Polk County. Yeah, so you yeah, gotta get yeah. over there and deal with that. All right, have a great day, sir. And they have Figueroa. He's mental health. All right, this case 2021 CF 7261 AO on charges. Ms. Pinnell Figueroa is here on charges of. Burglary and conveyance in two counts. I want to appoint the public defender to represent her. I'll waive the appearance. All right. I'm going to release Ms. Panella on mental health pretrial release in both of these counts. Uh, she doesn't qualify. We're going to set her bonds in each count in the amount of $1,000 each. Condition of the bond should not return to the scene of the location. I have no contact with any victims or witnesses. They're not possessing any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms she has needs to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of her release. And she's also not allowed to possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Andre Tillman. Mr. Tillman, you're here in case 2021 CF 7225AO on charge of MDMA or ecstasy. The court did find probable cause for your arrest as that charge. It's going to stay your bond no amount of $1,000 in that case. Conditioning your bond that you're not allowed to possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You're also not allowed to associate with any known drug, dealer, drug dealers or drug users, not allowed to return to the scene of the location. You're out on probation in case 2020 CF 11636AO, 
based on the arm view violation filed by the probation officer, the court's going to find you, so hold you at no bond as to that charge. We're going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. One thousand. Okay, so you reduce it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm not understanding you. What do you mean? What's going on with the process? What I oh, you sorry. are arrested for a new charge. Yes, sir. That new charge is the basis of violation of your probation that you're out on. So the law requires me to give you a bond on this new case. But I don't have to give you a bond on your violation of probation. Because you're not entitled to one. So have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Stephen Ray Qualls. Mr. Qualls, you're here in case 2021 MM 4246AO on charge of battery. Did review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,000. Condition your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You now return to the scene, the location. <clears throat> you have no contact with any witnesses. We not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. We want to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day. Thank you. All right. Look at me. Do not come through this door and like looking over into the gallery. Good morning, sir. Tell me your name. Good morning, Your Honor. It's Taylor Brayton. Mr. Brayton, you're here in case 2021-CF7279AO on charges of battery domestic violence by strangulation and battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Ma'am, can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Rebecca Youngs, Y-O-U-N-G-S. Can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? Yes. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I hope you got Yes, I do. All right, can you put your hand down? Can you tell me how you know Mr. Britton? He's my boyfriend. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? Yes, I do. I don't want to press charges. Are you afraid of him? No, I'm not. Has there been any prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, there has not. Were you the subject of this prior battery arrest that I see in here? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? Um, he is um, on medication for PTSD and generalized anxiety, and he was drinking alcohol, and the two did not mix. That is true. Say, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. All right. Ms. George. No, Your Honor. Mr. Britton, the court's going to set your bond in count one in an amount of $3,000, count two, $500. It's going to be subject to pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. We you are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. May not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol that you don't have a prescription for. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. You also, be, or I'm ordering that you take your mental health or PTSD medication within the dosage in which it is prescribed and to keep up with any mental health appointments that you have with your mental health provider. Are you seeing people at the VA? And the out, and out. At uh, where? In Lake Nona, where? Uh, Lake Baldwin. Lake Baldwin, all right. All right, keep all your appointments in Lake Baldwin, which are your doctors there. All right, it says you make $800 a week, is that right? I didn't have a calculator on it to, to come up with that. It was, I've worked 40 hours a week, so I had $28 an hour. All right. And you're also receiving all your veterans benefits? Yes, sir. All right. So I don't think you're going to qualify for the services of the public defender. All right, ma'am. You say you want, you heard you want to tell me something. Go ahead. 
Um, I would like contact, and we live together and have nowhere else to go. You don't have anywhere else to go, no, or he doesn't have anywhere else? Neither one of us do. Say it? Neither one of us do. Well, he's going to have to figure out somewhere else to go. My concern is, one, exactly what you said. The alcohol he consumes and the drug medications that he, like, the medications that he, like, is under, under, those two do not match. Okay. Right. So, seeing a lot of homicides I would resulting argue. from that situation because of various situations of cases just happened right by the facts I read in that case. Your Honor, I would just argue that if you place him on pretrial release and he's not allowed to have any alcohol, um, that he will, be, he should, it, you could allow him to go home because he'll be monitored. And if he violates, he'll be brought back here yep. um, and held at um, no bond. So I just yeah, he can, those my conditions always be modified by the division judge. But I want to get him on the right path before I introduce him to a new stimulus that may not result in something wonderful happening between the both of you. All right. Have a great day. Sure. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Kenneth Campbell. Here you. Kenneth Campbell. Mr. Campbell, you are here in case 2021 CF 7306 AO on charge of tampering with a witness hindered communication and battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond to count one, amount of $1,000, count two, $500. Condition of your bond is you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items that you have at this location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. State, are you asking me to take any action on your similar, on a similar county probation case? Yes, Your Honor. All right, sir. Based on the state's request, the court found a probable cause that you have violated your probation. And I've got the case number cut off here. Ms. Davis, is, I can see it's 2020 CF18. Six zero. Six zero? Or the last two? That's what I have, Your Honor. All right, one eight six zero. Of course, going to find an on view violation of your probation. Going to set your new bond in that case at none. Going to appoint the public defender to represent you in that case as well. You have a great day, sir. Yes, so we have 2020 CF 1860. Yes. And it's out of service. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Emmanuel Damon. Mr. Damon, you're here in case 2021-CF-7308-AO on charge of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, false imprisonment, and battery domestic violence. The court did review the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Jayla Phillips. Ms. Phillips, can you raise your right hand this morning? Mr. K, what, can you spell your last name for me? P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. All right. Do you saw me swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, the number of the truth, so help you got? Yes. All right, you put your hand down. All right, ma'am, can you tell me how you know Mr. Damon? We have an eight-week-old child together. All right. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? No, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? Marijuana and alcohol. Right. Has there been prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Just seven days ago. Right. Say, so you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Dame, I'm going to set your bond account one in the amount of $3,000, count two, five, $1,500, and count three, $500, condition of your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You are subject. To, you may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You're subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense. I have one question. Yes, ma'am. For the daycare fee, can you order him to keep paying half of it? For the baby? 
Yeah, I don't know if you guys have got that set up. You got an account set up. You guys pay, you're paying stuff out of for the baby. Um, she goes you said 18 care. weeks, so that was like. Very and new. I said eight weeks. Eight weeks. That's it's two month old baby, so all right. Yeah, I just started working last time. I'm a pharmacy tech and I don't want to lose my job, so. I yeah, just... I got you. All right, ma'am. All right, Mr. Damon. But do you have an account, a joint account? Look at me. Do you have a joint account? Um, you... No. All right. So that's the problem right now because I'm. People that already are, like, are married or have like longer situations, I make a condition that he has to continue to support that child, but I can't really tell him how to do that because, and, but he also has to maintain no contact with you. So that's the issue with the sad situation. So I don't want to get him trying to contact you to give you money kind of thing. You can give it to the daycare directly. Well, some of you get the baby. I don't know, you guys think, you, are you guys from here? I'm not from Jacksonville, but. Yeah. Is there somebody here, a third party? Just me and the baby. See, doesn't, you know, so you may have to go the route of, you know, filing a child support action against him right. for that reason because I don't want to, because if he contacts you, they're going to arrest him and he's going to hang out here with me until some, uh, some other judge lets him out, all right? Also, what about his family contacting me, mother, sister? Yeah, that includes them. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you order maintain support? No, I didn't order. I said, I said if I were to order it, it doesn't really. It doesn't, oh, I can't no. do it because they don't have a third party to which you do it. But also, I may want to tell your family that you know you're gonna get arrested if they contact her, even if you didn't know. You said I didn't know nothing about it. They did it on their own. They they won't arrest you because you're gonna violate my no contact order. You understand that? All right. All right, everybody have a great day. Well, Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Guido Scalante. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 7309AO on charge of sexual battery, battery, bat sorry, battery, domestic violence by strangulation and false imprisonment, domestic violence. They review the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond account one in amount of $25,000, count two, $10,000, and count three, $5,000. Condition of your bond that you had no contact with the victim in this case, you not return to the scene, the location where this incident happened. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. One to appoint the public defender to represent you oh, as well. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Gabriella Flores. Ms. Flores, you're here in case 2021 CF. 7272AO on charge of possession, of, sorry, battery domestic violence and possession of cocaine. I did review the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in count one, amount of $500. Count two, I'm going to state your bond amount of $1,000. Condition on your bond that you not, you'll be subject to pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Yeah. Your Honor, I would ask for a straight pretrial release on count two. Um, I see she doesn't have a criminal history. All right. I'll do that. Ms. Madam Clerk, I'm count, count two straight PTR. You may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. I'm going to appoint a public defender's office to represent you. You have a great day, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Miguel Perez Guzman. Mr. Guzman, you're here in case 2021 CF7286AO on charge of battery, 
felony battery and aggravated battery on alternative Alternatively, with a great bodily harm or, or with a deadly weapon, domestic violence, they reviewed the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond to count one in amount of $2,500, count two, $5,000, condition of your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Say again? I don't really get I don't really understand. Is he need an interpreter? Is he no, he said he said that. I don't know. No. Right. He just didn't understand the firearm right. part, Your Honor. Yeah. But you it, must maintain a separate residence from the victim. And what is it? It's 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 All right, you need to maintain a separate residence from the victim. I'll give you a one time return to any shared residence you have with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. Want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case? You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Mr. Odom, you're here in case 2021 CF 7288 AO on charge of violation of the no contact order. Court did refuse the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Gonna set your bond in that case amount of $50,000. Condition of that bond, you have no contact with the victim. You're also here, you're out on bond in case 2021, CF 6380AO. In that case, gonna revoke that bond, set a new bond at $0. Say you wanna resolve there's no, there's no valid case from 2003. Your Honor, I have it as resolved. I do as well, Your Honor. All right. So that seems to be a closed case. It's not a case I have to address this morning. Yes, Your Honor. So I'm not taking any action for record purposes. Have a great day, sir. Can you tell me your name, sir? Daniel Rosuccio. Good morning, Mr. Ruscio. You are here in three cases. The first one is 2021 CF 7312 AO on charges of kidnapping with intent to commit a felony, battery, domestic violence, battery on a person 65 years or older, and battery one for the one prior battery conviction. You're also here in case 2021 CF 7291AO on charge of battery, domestic violence, battery one prior, criminal mischief, assault, domestic violence. And you're also here in case 2021 CF 7311 on charge of battery on a person 65 years or older, abuse of the elderly or disabled, <coughs> an adult. Pay theft for one hundred dollars or more, fraudulent use of a credit card, kidnapping, domestic violence, robbery, credit card theft, and battery domestic violence. All right, state in two thousand twenty-one CF seven three one two count one, and in case two thousand twenty-one CF seven three one one and count one two three four five. What do you ask me to do? Uh Given that they are punishable by life offenses, the state is asking that you hold him no bond pending an Arthur hearing. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in those cases, in all your cases, sir. Ms. George, do you have any response to the state's request? No, Your Honor. We reserve the right to have Arthur. All right, sir. In 2021 CF 7311, sorry, sorry. In 2021 CF 7312, which one do you have first? That's fine. One, all right. I want to, in count one, I'm going to hold you at no bond as to that count. Count two, we're going to set your bond amount of $2,000. Count three, $2,000. Count four, $2,000. Condition of the bond in those cases, you have no contact with the victim in those cases. You may not return to the scene, the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. In 2021, CF 7291 AO, 
The court is going to set your bond and count one amount $2,000, count two $2,000, count three $2,000, and count four $2,000. Condition of that bond is you had no contact with the victim, no return to the scene of the location, may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms he has, and he returned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And also, no contact with any witnesses in those two prior cases. I apologize. In 2021, CF 7311AO, the court's going to set. In count one, we're going to set your bond amount $2,000. Count two, $2,000. Count three, $2,000. Count four, $2,000. Count five, we're going to hold you at no bond. That's that charge. Count six, we're going to set your bond amount of $15,000. Count seven, $2,000. And count eight, $2,000. Condition of that bond may not have any contact with any victims or witnesses in that case. May not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. May not possess any personal identification of anybody except your own. Did I get everyone? Got all the counts? Yes. Yeah. All right. Have a great day, man, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Marcel Brooks. Mr. Brooks, you're here in case 2020-MM9033-AO on charge of battery domestic violence. The judge signed your warrant in this case has already found probable cause for your arrest. Ma'am, can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Uh, Amanda Shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S. Ms. Shields, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? The Assembly swear affirm the testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, none but the truth. Help you got. Yes, sir. Put your hand down, ma'am. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Brooks? That's my fiance and the father of my two children. All right. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? Yes, we actually just got back together from being separated from this incident, and we're working things out. And things have been where they need to be for us. Okay. Um, are you afraid of him? Absolutely not. Has there been any prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? No. Not that I feel, no. All right. And you are aware of his prior criminal history, correct? Yes, sir. Including that he's... Yes, we've been together seven years. I'm aware. All right. I just want to know that he's a wanted man out of Illinois. I'm aware. All right. Say, so you got any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Brooks, I'm going to set your bond in this case, amount of $1,500, condition of your bond, that you have no hostile contact with the witness in this case, the victim in this case, Ms. Shields. No hostile contact means this. All right, look at me, look at me. You guys are allowed to have disagreements. That's a natural thing in a relationship. She can be upset with you that you left the toilet seat up that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a father to your two children or not treating her in a way that she wants to be treated. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot turn threatening. There cannot be no abusive language used because if that happens and either she calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing calls law enforcement, you will be arrested. You'll be staying here with me at the Orange County Jail until your case is resolved. You understand that? I can't hear you. Yes, sir. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Don't violate my court orders. You have a great day, ma'am. Um, no, I'll keep it on there. Yeah, keep it. Yes, correct. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? 
Simone Brown. Ms. Brown, you are here in case 2021 MM 4250 AO on charge of battery dating, dating violence and resisting officer without violence. I reviewed the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Ishmael Christian, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Yes, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, put your hand down, sir. All right, sir, can you tell me how you know Ms. Brown? Girlfriend. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? Yes, sir. Are you afraid of her? No, sir. Has there been any prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, just arguments. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this particular instance? No, sir. All right. All right, Mr. Christian, I have a question about these arguments, though. Yes, sir. You said just arguments. What kind of arguments are we talking? Like, like how do you, like, you guys, can, can you communicate well when you're disagreeing? Or is there going to be an issue? Most Sometimes there's an issue um, when it comes to, because I know myself, I always, if I get to the point to where I'm angry, I try to dead it or just walk away from the situation. And then it becomes to the situation to where it's like, no, I want to talk about it right then. And then, then right. it's kind of out of hand then. But I always just try to walk away or be like, hey, we need to calm down because I done not want this to happen. I didn't call the police in this situation. I called my yep, That's That's what I'm talking about because you, you were in the audience while I just, why I just told somebody what no hostile contact means. Yes, sir. Because it doesn't matter if whether... Mr. Christian calls the police. So it's like in this case, somebody sees or hears you all arguing, calls the police. All right. Ms. Brown's the one going to get arrested. I understand. All right, Ms. Brown, going to set your bond in count one. What she says she doesn't qualify? She qualifies, Your Honor. We all right. Our fingerprints just didn't clear. Okay. All right, Ms. Brown, set your bond in count one amount $250. Count two. $250, condition your bond, be pre-trial release in this case. You have no hostile contact with the victim in this case. No hostile contact means this. You're allowed to have disagreements with him. Things happen. You don't have to agree to everything in life. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot turn threatening. They cannot, there cannot be any abusive language used because whether Mr. Christian calls the police or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing, call the police, you're gonna be arrested. You're gonna spend your remaining time here with me at the Orange County Jail, do you understand that? Yes, you may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You have a great day, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Patrick Lee Mathis III. All right, Mr. Mathis, you're here in case 2021 MM 4241 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Ma'am, can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Haley Camry, C-A-M-I-R-E. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Please solemnly swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, the number of truths to help you got. I do. All right, ma'am. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Mathis? We've been together for five years. He's my fiance. All right. And do you want to have contact with Mr. Mathis while this case is pending? I do, yes, please. Are you afraid of him? No, sir. Has there been any prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? Alcohol. 
seems to be an ongoing theme, right? Huh? Seems to be an ongoing theme. Just arguments in the past, but never violence. Well, I'm, well, I'm more concerned about his alcohol usage, and then no, no, we were resulting in him being arrested. The alcohol wasn't an ongoing problem. It's just we were out that night. Well, I see two different states. He's arrested for drinking and being acting a fool. Back now he's he here in, in Florida. Yeah. In college? That was back when he was in college. So like 10 years ago or so? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's 10 years, nine years ago, because of legal drink at age. All righty. So you got any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. State, what you what do you think? Regarding the contact, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. Um, state's only concern is the one statement about three quarters down. That's not the first time. I'll leave it within your discretion, Your Honor, given the victim's testimony here today that she does want contact. It doesn't seem like he's had anything in his history recently. Um, state's just concerned about that one statement made to law enforcement. <sighs> What are you talking about when the cop was asking about just previous arguments is what I meant by that. We were talking to him. All right, Mr. Mathis is going to set your bond in this case amount of $500. It's going to come from pre-trial release supervision. You have no contact, no hostile contact with the victim in this case. No hostile contact means this. You lot have disagreements with, you guys allowed to disagree. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot turn threatening. There cannot be any abusive language used because if that happens, and whether she calls the police or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing calls the police, you're going to be arrested. You're going to spend the remaining of your time while this case is pending here with me at the Orange County Jail. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol while you're out on release. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing while this case is pending. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? I can't hear you say again. Ronald Wilkinson. Mr. Wilkinson, you're here in case 2021 MM4251 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in this case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Nicole Robinson. It's R O B I N. S-O-N. And ma'am, can you raise your right hand this morning? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth so help you got? Yes, sir. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Wilkerson? He's my fiance. We've been together for two years. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? I do. Yes, sir. Are you afraid of him? No, sir. Has there been any prior instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Uh, we had one incident um, about almost two years ago. When we first got together, and it was kind of it was stupid. We just had like a little fight, and it turned into something that was dumb. And the cops were called, and nothing was like you know formally taken to charges or anything like that. So. It was a long time ago, and you know, yesterday was just kind of like a, I think a, a little bit of a hostile situation, more or less. Okay. 
All right. Um, did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. Say, you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Ms. George. No, Your Honor. Your Honor, just for the record, I do have three previous DV bat incidences. All were pretty old. I have a 1994 municipal ordinance battery against Ms. Peterson, a 1997 misdemeanor non arrest bat DV versus Ms. Collins, and then a 2000 misdemeanor non arrest. Uh, about DV with Ms. Gray. And Ms. Robinson, were you aware of those prior domestic violence history? I know, sir, I was not. I said, can hear you. I said, no, sir, I was not. All right. All right, Mr. Wilkinson, and then the court's going to set your bond in this case, amount of $1,000 is going to come with pretrial release supervision. You'd have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at a shared residence. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case, sir. Do you have any questions about the no contact order? Mr. Wilkinson, yeah. no? All right, have a great day, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Christina Collier. Ms. Collier, you're here in case 2021, sorry, 2020 CT 321 AO, AW, I'm sorry. On a failure to appear warrant, the judge signed your failure to appear warrant set your bond amount of two thousand dollars. You're also here in case two thousand twenty CF two three zero eight AO for a failure to appear warrant. The judge in that case set your bond amount of zero dollars. State you want to resolve the traffic case. I think it was a no valid. Yep. Yes, Your Honor. The offer would be an adjudication. Credit time served. Ms. George, you want to talk to her about that for a moment? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. And I'll talk to, I think, Mr. Filion. This is the next person behind you. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Carr, you need to switch places with Mr. Filion. Talk to Ms. George. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Filion. Sir, you're here in case in 2021, CF 5567 AO for violation of conditional release. The judge in that case set your bond at none. Your bonds will remain at none in that case. You want to, I think you already had the public defender appointed to represent you in that matter. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jose Perez Recalado. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 7283AO on charges of burglary of an occupied structure, criminal mischief of $1,000 or more, grant theft of a fire extinguisher. In 2021 CF 3073 AO, you're here in charges of injunction of contraband to a county detention facility and possession of cocaine. I reviewed the charging affidavit in these cases. Did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to stay your bonds in all your cases. Um, in the uh, 7283, 5,000, 150, or 150. Condition in the bond in that case, no return to the scene of the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess any drugs or alcohol by a valid prescription. You also 
cannot have any contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. In 2021, CF 3073, staying your bond and note, that, that case as well, an amount of $1,000, $150, condition that bond, no drugs, no alcohol, may not associate with any known drug dealers or drug users in that case. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in both your cases. Have a great day, sir. And Ms. Collier, what do you want to do as to the traffic case? I just want to resolve it today. All right. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, number the truth, so help you God? Did, does she have the PD in that case? Yes, sir. All right. Here you put your hand down, ma'am. Right. Ma'am, you are here in case 2020, CT321AW, on a charge of no valid driver's license. That's a second degree misdemeanor. It's punishable to 60 days in the county jail and a $500 fine. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you want to interrupt, Mr. George, what plea do you want to have for your client? You have for your client? No contest, Your Honor. Ma'am, do you understand by entering a plea of no contest in this case that you're going to give up all the rights outlined on that plea form that's in front of you? Yeah. You understand you get the right to have a trial, right to have your attorney represent you at the trial? I can't hear you. You're shaking your head, but I can't hear anything. There we go. Oh, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. I can't accept it. I just read the notes in the case. Um, Unless she failed to appear for a plea hearing, so. Uh -huh. Um, I understand. It's just based on the attorney assigned to her case. Um, it's in bold not to take it. So I did speak with her. Um, we're not going to accept the offer. Um, and we'll just ask that you stay with the I guess my question is not accepting an offer because she didn't want to accept the offer anymore? Yes, I explained it to her. I told her it was her choice. Um, she says she does not want to accept it. Okay. That's, I was trying to be clear about attorneys. Yes, claim all kinds of things, but yes. <laughs> it's her responsibility. That's what she wants. So I won't say your bond, ma'am. In that case, my $2,000, zero on your felony case. You have a great day. You may have the idea roll into a second session. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? George Quinones Santiago. Uh, what happened to Pena Hero? Right. Mr. Kionis, right, Mr. Kionis, you're here in case 2021 CF7295AO on charges of possession of fentanyl and possession of drug paraphernalia. They reviewed the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to state your bond in count one, amount of $1,000, count two, $100. Conditioning your bond that you do not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You, you be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense, as well as you may not associate with any known drug dealers or drug users as a condition of your bond in that case. You're also arrested on on-view violations from Walden County, case 2019, CF724. From Holmes County, 2019, CF412. And from Washington County, 2021, 2019 CF579, based on those on-view violations and the probable cause determination, I'm going to stay your bond at $0 in those violation of probation cases. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in all your cases. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF7285AO on charge of driver license suspension, habitual traffic offender, 
and two and a driver license suspended the third subsequent of offender. I did review the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to stay your bond account one in my $2,500. Count two, I'm going to set it at $2,500. You're also on your own bond in case 2021 CF4162 AO. The court's going to revoke that bond. I'm going to set a new bond amount of $5,000. In addition, your bond cannot operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license in all your cases. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you. So we need to get you a bus pass, something else. Ten toes, something. Stop driving right now because you're going to keep getting arrested. Have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Rafael Martinez, sir. Mr. Martinez Ortega, you're here in case 2021-CF7287-AO. On a charge of possession of cannabis, they reviewed the charging affidavit in that case, did find probable cause for your arrest. You're also arrested on view violation in case 2020 CF 3578 AO, by violation of community control. Apologize. Based on, view, based on that on view violation of community control, the court is going to stay your bond at $0 in that case. One second. Seven, two, eight, seven. Yep. So you are a violent felony offender, special concern. You're not going to be entitled to release on your violation of probation until that violation of probation is resolved. We're going to appoint the public defender to represent you in all your cases. You have a great day, sir. Your Honor, to be clear on the violation of the community control, it was none? Yes, none. It was our violation of community control. Yes, ma'am. Ms. You. Davis. I'm so sorry. Did you do the possession of cannabis case? I'm sorry. Yeah, that name I think I did. No, stay your bond in a thousand dollars. Apologize. No drugs, no alcohol. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Robinson. Mr. Robinson, you're here in case 2021 CF 7296 AO for possession of cocaine. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Let me start possession of cannabis. Apologize. Possession of cannabis. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to stay your bond in that case amount of $1,000. Addition that bond, no drugs, no alcohol, without a valid prescription. This is Mr. Robinson. I did the felony case first, the new felony case. All right, sir, you're all on probation in cases 2019 CF 2030, 2019 CF 1450, and 2019 CF 13796. Of course, going to find based on all of you violations filed by the probation officer, going to hold you in no bond as to those violations. Going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day, sir. In you know, all your cases, I'm sorry. You're getting the public defender in all your cases. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, John Minodorno Gomez. Ms. Ordorno, you're here in case 2020 CT 3431 AO on an out of county warrant from Osceola County. The judge in Osceola County sets your bond amount of $2,000. Your bond's going to remain at $2,000. You want to, I think you already had the public defender to represent you in that case. You have a great day, sir. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? I have a bank. Mr. Banks, you're here in case 2019 CF1842AO on an out of county warrant from Osceola County. Judge in Osceola County set your bond at $0. Your bonds remain at $0. Well, I'm not going to take any action here. New case 2021 CF2729AO. I'm going to point the public defender to represent you in all your cases. Sir, may I please say something? To the, due to the bun? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, talk to Ms. George first, and then get some advice first.
Your Honor, um, we just want you to know that we never got any notification by the court that you ever drove on the All right. Well, were you keeping in contact with your attorney? Uh, I had, we had no attorney at the time, so it was a fresh uh, charge. You had you were a pretrial. You weren't at arraignment, so you had a public defender representing you. We never got. Uh, excuse me. During this time, I had got a new charge, so it started all over. I got a possession charge with this charge, and so this bail bomber bought me out. I went to court for the Orange County charge on the on the fifteenth, and we and we never had a court date for our Osceola charge. We, it was still pending. I asked them we never had, and they were vouched for us. She, they both to call you already. We never got a court date or email for the Osceola court charge. It's the Orange County charge. Yeah. We had no knowledge of this court date. Once again, you had an attorney representing you, so you had notice, because, but you never came in contact with your attorney. Yes. Oh, for, sir. for the beginning charge? Yep. You never contacted me or nothing, sir. Correct. So have a great day, sir. <laughs> wow. All right, does anybody have anything else for the... Please tell me your name. Stephon Lee Watts, Jr. 20MM8433, mm you're here for an arraignment on a battery charge. Ms. George, your office already represents him. Yes, Your Honor, we're going to answer a plea of um, not guilty. Wait, this is a VOP? Oh, a VOP, denial. It's a VOP, yeah. We'll answer a denial, Your Honor. Thank you. VOP status, July 23rd at 9 o'clock, courtroom 4A. All right, that's your next court date. Okay. Good luck, sir. What you have, Your Honor? Kathy Lodge. Medical. 21CT 2245. Ms. George, your office represents her. It's also an arraignment. Yes, Your Honor. I'll waive and enter a plea of not guilty. Division 63, pretrial conference, July 22nd at 1 o'clock, courtroom 12C. Robert Ray, medical. 21CT 576. Ms. George, your office represents him as well. Um, Your Honor, we'll waive and enter a plea of not guilty. Division 83, free trial conference, July 26th at 9 o'clock. Oh, is that the same? Does he have two cases? Yes. 21 CT 577. Same division. Yeah, he has a second case, but you also represent him in that case as well. I'll oh, waive. my gosh, he has a third case. I'll 578. Waive. I'll waive all three cases and enter plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Thank you. David Washington. 21 CT 4256. Ms. George, you represent him as well. Um, I'll waive the appearance and enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 62, pretrial conference, July 19th at 9 o'clock, courtroom 9B. Brandon 21 MM 3657. Your office represents him. Um, I'll waive the appearance and enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 83, pretrial conference, July 26th at 9 o'clock. Courtroom 6B. Sir, please tell me your name. Maurice Griffin. 21 MM 3445. Ms. George, you represent him. He's here charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. Um, we'll enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. There's no offer to him. Division 85, pretrial conference, July 26th at 9 o'clock, courtroom 4A. Good luck, sir. Please tell me your name. Anthony Bernard Hall. 21 MM 3296. You're here charged with battery. Ms. George, your office represents him as well. We'll enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 62, pretrial conference, July 19th at 9 o'clock, courtroom 9B. Good luck, sir. 20 MM 629. It's an arraignment on a petty theft charge. At this time, I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent him. We'll waive and enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 63, pretrial conference, July 22nd, 1 o'clock, courtroom 12C. 
I'm sorry, Madam Clerk, what was the PTC date? July 22nd. Thank you. Carl Jones, medical. 21MM105. Your office represents him, Ms. George. I'll wait an answer, please. I'm not guilty. Or not. doesn't tell me. Division 63 pre-trial conference, July 22nd at 1 o'clock, courtroom 12C. Twenty-one MM one three eight eight. Miss George, you represent him as well. Oh, I'll waive an answer a plea of not guilty. Division 82 pre-trial conference, July 26th at 10.30, courtroom 10B. Please tell me your name. Sir, what's your name? Lonnie Joe Tony, ma'am. 21 MM 3347. You're here on a charge of resisting an officer without violence. Ms. George, your office represents him in this charge? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state's offering is an adjudication of guilt, credit time served, and cost of investigation in the amount of 37248 for Orlando Police Department. Um, I did have a chance to speak with Mr. Tomlin, he did um, understand all the rights he would be given up and would like to accept his offer. All right, sir, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give should be the truth, the whole truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, sir, you heard what Ms. George just told the court. Is that what you want to do here today? Yes, ma'am. And you had a chance to speak with her and you understand all the rights you're giving up by entering a plea today? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me about those rights? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, other than the All this going to be consolidated? Do I have any more cases? I mean, I have to look this just for the resistance. He's asking if he has other cases, Your Honor. You must have another case because this is an in jail arraignment. So he wouldn't be in jail on just this, right? He's in here on a um, felony FTA with a no bond. Okay, so you, there's a felony charge. Do you know what it is? It's a resisting officer with violence. All right, so you have a felony charge, and it, it sounds like you failed to appear for court, and you're being held at no bond on that. So if you enter a plea today to this charge, I'm going to sentence you today, but you won't be released. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. And you still want to enter this plea today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You understand that if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea could deport you? Yes, ma'am. And if you're on probation for anything, this plea could violate that? Yes, ma'am, I understand. All right. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything other than the state's offer to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. All right, sir, at this time, how do you wish to plead to the charge of resisting an officer without violence? No contest, ma'am. I'll accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily made. I'll adjudicate you guilty, give you credit for the 20, 36 days that you've been in custody. I have to order that you pay court costs and the cost of investigation to OPD of $372.48. Sir, I'm gonna give you a year to pay all of that. That's the longest I can give you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, and actually, we'll do a year from the date of his release. Because you're not gonna get out today and I wanna make sure that you have time. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, is this what the 19 case or? This is the 21 MM the misdemeanor case from 2021. Yes, so it's a new case. So the 19 is, is she said you, That's the felony. So, so that you have to resolve in a different court. I can't do that here today. So what about bond, ma'am? Can I have You have no bond on that because it's a failure to appear. So your attorney is going to have to file a bond motion in front of that trial judge to get that KPS changed. So call the public defender's office and ask them to file a bond motion for you. All right, good luck, sir. You have 30 days to appeal in writing. Jimmy Williams, medical. 21MM3619, Miss George. Um, I'll leave the appearance and enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 50, pre-trial conference, July 6th at 1.30 p.m., courtroom 7C. Please tell me your name. Lauren Zimmer. 
21MM3644. You're here charged with trespass and occupied structure. Ms. George, you represent her? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state is offering adjudication of guilt credit time served and no return. To Circle K, I did have a chance to speak with Ms. Zimmer. Um, she understands all the rights she will be given up and she would like to accept the state's offer here today. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give should be the truth, the whole truth, to help you guide? Yes. Thank you. All right, you heard what Ms. George just said to the court. Is that what you want to do here today? Yes. And you understand all the rights that you're giving up by entering this plea? Yes. Do you have any questions for me about these rights? No. You understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, you could be deported? Yes. You understand that if you're on probation anywhere, this plea could violate that probation? Yes. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to enter this plea today? No. Other than the state's offer, of course. At this time, how do you wish to plead a trespass and occupied structure? Yes. No contest. Okay. No contest. Sorry. I'll accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily made. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty, give you credit for the 25 days that you've been in custody. I'll order that you are not allowed to return to the Circle K. Do you have that address? I don't. No. Yes, Your Honor. No, I, I'm sorry. I meant the state. It is 2410 West Oak Ridge Road. All right, you can't go back there. You understand that? Yes. All right, I'll order that you pay court costs. I'll give you a year to pay them. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You have 30 days to appeal in writing. Thank you. Thank you, B. Please tell me your name. David Davis. Sir, you're here in 21MM4259, charged with battery. There is probable cause in this case. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Your bond is $500. You're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes, ma'am. You can't possess a weapon of any kind, firearm, or ammunition. Are there any other conditions the state would request? No, Your Honor. All right. Good luck, sir. Please tell me your name. Timothy Gerard. 21MM376. You're here charged with battery and assault. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Your bond is $500 on count one, $100 on count two. You're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm or ammunition. Did you two live in the same house? Yes. All right, you can't do that now. I'm going to order you must maintain a separate residence. I'll allow a one-time return with law enforcement to gather your belongings. Are there any other conditions the state would request? No, Your Honor. All right, good luck, sir. Get, get closer to the mic so I can hear you. What? It's tough. I just wanted to know if I could get an unsecured bond. I I gave you a bond. But can I like get an unsecure? A what? An unsecured bond. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're asking me. Like, can I sign myself out? Oh no. I mean, if you, you can bond out, if you have the money, you can bond out, but you have to post the money. I don't got the money right now, though. That's all I was saying. Like, you want to be released on your own recognizance? Correct. I'm not going to do that at this time. Okay. Because of the nature of the charges. All right. Good luck, sir. Please tell me your name. Anthony Mabel. 21MM4258, you're here charged with open carry of a weapon or firearm. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Your bond is $1,000. You're not allowed to have any contact with the co-defendants. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes, ma'am. 
You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm, or ammunition. Any other conditions of stay would request? No, Your Honor. All right, good luck, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. So um, if, I, if I don't pay bond, how long is the, um, the sentence, I guess? There's no sentence. I didn't sentence you today. Okay. You just, you have to bond out, or if you don't want to do that, you'd have to ask your attorney to file a motion in front of the trial judge, because that's the only way right now that you can get out of jail. Okay. All right, good luck. Please tell me your name. Janine Ann O'Neill. 21MM4256. You're here charged with trespass on property after warning. There is probable cause. Was there an offer? There was, Your Honor, but can we approach, please? I'm sorry? Can we approach? Yes. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing today for some reason. At this time, I'm going to appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent you, ma'am. I'd like to have her screened for mental health pretrial release. Uh, alternatively, regular pretrial release. And if not, her bond will be $250. So if she qualifies for mental health pretrial release, she'll be placed on that. If not, then pretrial release. And if not, then $250 is her bond. Ms. O'Neill, you cannot go back to did this happen at Florida Hospital East? Yes, Your Honor. You can't go back to Florida Hospital East unless you have a doctor's appointment or an emergency. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. Rivera, Rivera, his behavior. 21MM4255, trespass on property after warning, resisting without. I'll find his behavior a willing waiver of his appearance today. There is probable cause, and I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent him. I'll stay as bond, 500 on count one, 100 on count two. No return to 7-Eleven. No contact with any witness. Mr. George? Yes. Um, Your Honor, He's out on bond. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I would just ask that since it's a nonviolent offense that you consider revoking and doubling if you are inclined to revoke the bond amount in this case. Um, he has zero failures to appear, so I just ask that you take that into consideration. Your Honor, at this time we haven't filed on that case. However, the reason we have it is because he just picked it up June 4th. So it's been... Where was it? Do you know? It was at Walmart. I'm going to take no action at this time. then we won't get the questions. Please tell me your name. Tammy Woodard. 21MM4256. 
I'm sorry, MO524, a capius was issued for your arrest for failing to appear for arraignment on a charge of illegal purchase or sale or offer for alcohol. The bond on that is $1,000. Was there an offer? Yes, Your Honor, authorized on the city's behalf to offer a withhold and credit time served. Oh. And um, I did have a chance to speak with Mrs. Woodard. Um, we did go over all the rights she would be given up. She understands those rights and would like to accept the state's offer here today, Your Honor. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give should be the truth or the truth to help you guys? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Ms. Woodard, you heard what Ms. George just said. Is this what you want to do here today? Yes, ma'am. And you understand the rights you're giving up by entering a plea today? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me about those rights? No, ma'am. You understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, you can be deported? Where? Did you say yes? Yes, I understand, ma'am. If you're not. I'm not saying you're not. Okay. I have, I have to tell everyone that to make sure everyone understands. Yeah. Right. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Okay. <laughs> also, if you're on probation, this could violate that. No, no, no ma'am, I'm not. Okay, but as long as you understand that. Now, ma'am, has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me before I accept your plea and sentence you? No, ma'am, I don't. All right. How do you wish to plead to the charge of illegal purchase or sale of alcohol? I plead no contest. I'll accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily made. I'll withhold adjudication, give you credit for the one day that you've been in jail. I have to order that you pay court costs. Do you have a job, ma'am? No, ma'am, but they sure giving them out now. I'm going looking. Wait, say that one more time. She said they're giving them out, so she's going looking. She's going to go look, Your Honor. I'm, Everybody her now. I'm going to reduce this to a lien. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Good luck, ma'am. You have 30 you, days to appeal in writing. Thank you. Please tell me your name. 21MM4253. Sir, you're here charged with battery domestic violence. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Ma'am, do you wish to testify? Yes. Okay, raise your right hand to be sworn. Sir, look at me. Me. You Thank you. And affirm the testimony you're, you're about to give should be the truth, the whole truth, to help you guys. I'm sorry. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give should be the truth, the whole truth, to help you guys? Yes. Thank you. Put your hand down. State, you may inquire. Good morning, ma'am. Can you please state your name for the record? Manushka Jules. Can you spell your last name? J U L E S. Thank you. And what is your relationship to Mr. Cesar? We are married. He's my husband. Okay. Are you afraid of him? Huh? Are you afraid of him? Afraid of him? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay. Has anything like this ever happened before? Yes. Other than this time, how long ago would you say the last time was? Uh, I don't remember, like a few months. Okay. Do you want to have contact with him? No. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Defense, do you wish to inquire? No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You can stay there if you'd like. Um, he qualifies for pretrial release. Does the state object to that? Your Honor, given the victim's testimony here today, that it seems to be an ongoing cycle of abuse, um, state, I understand that he otherwise qualifies for PTR, but I'd ask for bond in conjunction with PTR, given the victim's testimony. And Your Honor, I would just argue that he has no criminal history, um, employed full-time, has been in the Orlando area for over a year. So I'd ask that you place him on pretrial release. If he violates, he'll be brought back here before you and held at no bond. Ma'am, I have a question for you. We have a program here called pretrial release, which allows someone to be released from custody without having to post a monetary bond. He qualifies for that program. Would you object if I placed him on that program? That's fine. You can place him. All right. Sir, I'm going to place you on pretrial release with special conditions. You're not allowed to have any contact with your wife. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes, ma'am. You're also not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm or ammunition. Did you two live together? Yes. 
All right, you can't now. I'm ordering that you must maintain a separate residence. I'll allow a one-time return with law enforcement to gather belongings, but you cannot coordinate that with your wife. Do you understand? Yes. I'm also going to order that you're not allowed to possess or consume alcoholic beverages while on pretrial release, and you'll be subject to random alcohol screens. Do you understand that? Yes. Any other conditions the state would request? No, Your Honor. All right. Good luck, sir. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Please tell me your name. Oh, I'm sorry, Deandra Flowers. 21 MM 4257, you're here charged with battery domestic violence. At this time, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Do you wish to testify? Yes. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give should be the truth, the whole truth, to help you guys? Yes. Thank you. State, you may inquire. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you please state your name for the record? Dominique Carter. And can you spell your last name? C-A-R-T-E-R. -E Thank you. And what is your relationship to Miss Flowers? She is my stepsister. Do you want to have contact with her during this case? No. Are you afraid of her? Yes. Has anything like this ever happened before? She has put her hands on me before. Okay. And are you willing to call 911 if anything like this ever happens again? Yes. All right. Thank you. That's all I have, Your Honor. Mr. George, do you have any questions? No, Your Honor. Uh, briefly, Your Honor, because I feel like we're going to yes. have the same. Um, I don't know if you heard previously, but she also does qualify for pretrial release, meaning that she would just be monitored while this case was pending, and she wouldn't have to pay a monetary bond. Is that something that sounds okay to you? No. Okay. Your Honor, given the victim's testimony, the state would ask for bond in conjunction with PTR. I I'm going to grant that. So, uh, Ms. Flowers, I'm going to place you on pretrial release, but I'm going to require that you post a monetary bond as well of $500. While on pretrial release, you're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes. You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm, or ammunition. Did you two live in the same residence? No, ma'am. Were you two living in the same house? No. Whose house was this? It was my dwelling, my house. All right, you're not allowed to return to her dwelling for any reason. Do you understand that? Yes. You can't be within a thousand feet of her or her place of employment, her house or her place of employment. Any other conditions the state would request? No, Your Honor. All right, good luck, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Good luck. Thank you. One moment. Please tell me your name. Chantel Griffin. Twenty-one MM three seven five. You're here charged with battery dating violence. I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Does the state object to pretrial release? Your Honor, in this one, it seems as if the victim was trying to de-escalate the situation, attempting to leave the apartment where Ms. Griffin further approached her and continued um, battering her or attempting to batter her. Um, so for those reasons, yes, Your Honor, and given we don't have victim input here today, I would just ask for bond with PTR. She does have a little bit of history, one of which being a prior battery. Is it on the same victim? Do you know? I can see if it was here in Orange County, Your Honor. I, for Ms. Griffin, I have a 2021 non-arrest BAT-DV that is 
against Ms. Joseph, which is the same victim in this case. That case allegedly occurred, I think, back in April. And then I have a 20... Has the state filed on it? Not yet, Your Honor. I have a 2016 battery victim also being Miss Joseph. That's not true. Or, All right, Miss Griffin, at this time, I'm going to place you on pretrial release. Your Honor, I did misspeak. I was looking at the 2021 case. The 2016, I believe, potentially was a store employee of right. a Walmart. All right, I'm going, going to place you on pretrial release, but also require that you post a monetary bond. However, I'm going to half the bond. So you'll have to post a bond of $250. While on pretrial release, you're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes. You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm, or ammunition. I'll order you must maintain a separate residence. I'll allow a one-time return with law enforcement to gather your belongings, but you cannot coordinate that with the victim. Do you understand? Any other conditions the state would request? No, Your Honor. All right, good luck. Please tell me your name. Dante is more. 21MM4252. You're here charged with battery domestic violence. There is probable cause, and I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Why doesn't he qualify for pretrial release? Um, he could qualify, Your Honor. Your Honor, just for the record, there is a, that battery that is referenced is a 20 misdemeanor bat DV. The victim was Ms. Stewart. The same victim in this case. And is that, did the state file? We did, and she was unwilling to prosecute. I'm going to place you on pretrial release with special conditions. You're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes, ma'am. You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm, or ammunition. I'll order you must maintain a separate residence. I'll allow one time return with law enforcement to gather your belongings. Is how old is the son? He's five. I'll also order that you must comply with any plan set in place by DCF. All right, good luck, sir. Please tell me your name. Jorge Armando Ortiz. Twenty-one MM four two six zero. You're here charged with battery domestic violence. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Your bond is $500. You're not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Do you understand what no contact means? Yes, Your Honor. You're not allowed to possess a weapon of any kind, firearm or ammunition. You must maintain a separate residence. I'll allow one time return with law enforcement to gather your belongings. You cannot possess or consume any controlled substance without a valid prescription. You'll be subject to random drug screens while you're on pretrial release. Do you understand? Your Honor, so you're doing pretrial release as well? I oh, I'm not. Doesn't qualify. Uh, yeah, I thought you said five. Sorry, it's bond. It's not pretrial release. But you still can't possess or consume any controlled substance while out on bond. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Any other conditions of state would request? No. All right, good luck, sir. I had pretrial release in my head for some reason. So no RUA? No. All right, so Carranza bonded. Bonded. Owens bonded. Yes. yes. Ramirez Perez bonded. Yes. Roblero Avila bonded. Yes. 
What about Keisha Vandemat? Please tell me your name. Uh, Mark Garish. 20 CF 12505. A capius was issued for your arrest for failing to appear for a sentencing hearing on a charge of possession of cocaine. There's no bond authorized on that capius, and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Good luck, sir. Please tell me your name. Andrew Haney. A warrant was issued for your arrest in 20 CF 7046 for violating a condition of pretrial release. There's no bond authorized on that warrant, and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. In 21 CF 7303, you're charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle. There is probable cause, and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you in this case as well. Your bond is $1,000. You're not allowed to have any contact with any victim or witness in the case. In 21 CF 7302, you're also charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle. There is probable cause for that charge as well. I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Again, your bond is $1,000 and you're not allowed to have contact with any victim or witness in the case. In 21 CF 7301, you're here charged with possession of methamphetamine, drug paraphernalia, cannabis under 20 grams, and driving while license suspended or revoked. There is also probable cause for those charges, and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Your bond is $1,000 on count one, 100 on counts two, three, and four. You can't drive without a valid license. You understand that? You can't possess or consume any controlled substance without a valid prescription or have contact with any known drug dealers. Good luck. Your Honor, I believe you had one more. You did? I have 20 CF 12164. I have five total. Or was it this one? Yeah, there were two. I said this one. I believe you got the 7046. Oh, no, I missed. I didn't say this one then. Yeah, Hold on, you have another one. 20 CF 12164. That's the one I missed. Yes, That's also violating three conditions of pretrial release with no bond. Again, I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Good luck, sir. Thanks for catching that. Please tell me your name. Marcetta Jones. 21 CF 7300, you're here charged with assault on a law enforcement officer, neglect of a child, and resisting without violence. There is probable cause. I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Your bond is $1,000 on count one, $5,000 on count two, and $100 on count three. You can't have any unsupervised contact with any minor child under the age of 18. You can't return to Universal Studios for any reason. You can't possess or consume any alcoholic beverage or controlled substance while you're out on bond. Do you understand? Do you understand, ma'am? Yeah. Are there any other conditions of state would request? No, Your Honor. That was 1,000, 5,000, 100. Yeah. Yes, and comply with any plan set in place by DCF. All right, good luck, ma'am. Yeah. Lines look like they're different. Okay, so count one, you raise to 1,000. Yes, this one is raised to 5,000. That's 100. Thank you. Please tell me your name. Alicia Morris. 21 CF 7305, you're here charged with grand theft. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Your bond is $1,000. You can't have contact with any victim, witness, or co-defendant in this case. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck. Your Honor, uh, the state would also ask for a no return to the nail salon where the uh, items were stolen from, as That's well as- it. And the address, I'll order that. No return to this place. As well as no return to the victim's address. I believe she searched it on her phone. The nail salon is Gypsy Nail. 
You can't go back there. You can't. You also can't go to the victim's residence or be within a thousand feet of it. Do you understand? Good luck. Please tell me your name. Looks like you have a violation of probation out of Lake County, 181907 with no bond. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. And in 21 CF 7299, you're here charged with possession of a concealed weapon or firearm by a convicted felon. There is probable cause and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Your bond is $4,000. You can't possess a weapon, firearm, or ammunition. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck. There's also do not return to the Gypsy Nail Salon. Oh, it's up there? Okay. That's good. All right, thank you. Please tell me your name. 21 CF 7310. You're here charged with possession of a concealed weapon or firearm by a convicted felon and possession of firearm by a convicted felon. I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. There is probable cause in this case. Your bond is $4,000 on count one, $4,000 on count two. You can't possess a weapon of any kind, firearm or ammunition, do you understand? Was there anyone else in the vehicle? There was. Yes. You're not allowed to have contact with? Stephen Atwell and Keisha <laughs> Vandemat. That's right. You can't have contact with those individuals. Do you understand? Any other conditions of state order request? No, Your Honor. Good luck. Victims are co defendants. Thank you. 21 CF 7298. Ms. George, I'm going to appoint you. Um, I'll waive the appearance room. All right. There is probable cause. I reviewed the probable cause affidavit. I'll stay the bond at 2500 on count one, 500 on count two, 500 on count three. No victim contact. Not allowed to possess or consume any controlled substance without a valid prescription. Please tell me your name. Timothy Vaughn. You're here in 21 CF 7297, charged with possession of cocaine and destruction of evidence. There is probable cause, and I'll appoint an attorney to represent you. Your bond is $1,000 on count one, $150 on count two. You're not allowed to possess or consume any controlled substance without a valid prescription. Do you understand? Yes. You can't have contact with any known drug dealers. I'm revoking his ROR in 21 CF 4300. However, instead of holding you at no bond, I'll set your bond at $1,000 in that case. So now you have a bond in all of your cases, but you understand that as a condition of being out on bond, you can't get arrested for new law violations. You understand that? Yes. All right, good luck, sir. Thank you. Please tell me your name. Julie Lynn Pervet. All right, you have a warrant out of Volusia County for violating a pretrial condition, violation of pretrial on a battery domestic violence. Your bond is $5,000. We'll notify them that you're here so that they can come and get you, but you have a bond on that. So if that's the only thing holding you and you want to post bond, you can. We'll notify them you're here so they can come and get you. All right, good luck, ma'am. What if they don't come get me? They will. Everyone's transporting again now. 
COVID slowed everything down, but everyone's back to transporting now. Yeah, this, this charge is back from November. <laughs> yeah, they'll come. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry, I did not get that. In. I'm trying to get them on the phone. I can't listen to that one. I'm trying to get the three on separate. I'm trying to get separate on the line. <laughs> Do I have that one? Yes, Judge Bain said he's going to let you know about it. He rolled it for a second. Chinese? Yes. Okay, I thought you said Creole. I need the order. Do you guys have him? Okay. This is Judge Gibson. Who do I have on the line? Hi, this is the Mandarin interpreter. Has the interpreter been sworn? No. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you solemnly swear to translate okay. from Mandarin to English, from English to Mandarin, to the best of your ability? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, please tell me your name. Zheng Wan Chen. Zheng Wan Chen. 21 MM 377, you're here charged with battery domestic violence and resisting an officer without violence. Uh, that you today, uh, this case is, uh, about, uh, related to the abuse, then you're, uh, hit, uh, the other, uh, then you, uh, to fight, uh, the police. I didn't fight the police. No, I, I did not resist. I understand what you're saying, but at this time, another judge has already found probable cause in this case. He set your bond at $500 on count one and $100 on count two. He set your bond at $500 on count one and $100 on count two. 是这个呃，在第一项，在一百块钱的保释金，在另外第二项。He also placed you on pretrial release with special conditions. You cannot have any contact with the victim. 啊，他也呃给你呃让你暂时放你出去，等待那个呃审啊庭审，然后你也可不可以跟那个受害者有任何的接触联系。do you understand what no contact means? Uh, 你知道什么叫没有接触,没有联系的意思吗? Uh, 我知道. Yes. You can't possess a weapon of any kind, firearm or ammunition. 你不能够拥有任何的枪支,武器和弹药. You must surrender any firearm or weapon that you have within 24 hours of your release. 在放你出去的二十四小时之内，你必须要把你呃先前已有的那些武器弹药都要来上交。我没有武器弹药。No, I do not have any firearms and ammunition. Okay. 
You can't possess or consume alcoholic beverages or illegal substances or controlled substances without a valid prescription, and you'll be subject to random drug and alcohol screens. 呃，除了医生给你开的处方之呃之外，你不能够喝酒，你也不能够用任何的毒品和受管制的药物。啊，我们会随机抽查你的呃。那个毒品或者是呃呃喝酒的那些呃进行对你进行测试。I'll order you must maintain a separate residence and allow one-time return with law enforcement to gather your personal belongings. 你必须呃住在另外一个地方，然后只有呃给你提供一次机会，在执法人员。呃，可以帮你一起回到你的住所，去取一次个人物品。But you can't coordinate that visit with the victim. Do you understand that? 啊，但是这个事情你不能够跟那个受害者呃去进行协调的，你明白吗 ？OK. <coughs> OK. Did you say OK? 啊，你说 OK 吗？ Uh, yes, yeah. Yes. Judge Bain also ordered that you must continue to support the children. Do you understand? The judge, uh, he also ordered you to continue to support the children. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Your Honor, um, uh, what do you mean by uh, continue support? Uh, I do not, I do not understand that. Financially support. 是财务方面来资助你的小孩，你还是要给他钱的，明白了吗 ？Your Honor, the victim was here this morning and said that they have a joint account due to being married, and they split finances of the children fifty-fifty. I believe that was Judge Bain's intent. 啊，那个呃。那个受害者呃，今天呃来这儿，早晨来过啊、呃，他们说是，呃会呃个人付一半的小孩的资助的费用，财务方面的费用。In in your honor, I'm gonna object, stating that it's not tied to reasonable conditions,、um, as stated in the pretrial release criteria. Did you object? 啊，法官。Yes, your honor. 哦、我不同意，因为这是呃，给他放他出去的一个条件。The victim said they have a joint account. Yes, sir. 嗯。啊，那个受害者说他们呃，他跟你有一个共同账户。All right, I'll strike that. 是的。Yes. All right. Good luck, sir. Okay. 那啊，那个呃，祝你好运。That's all we need from the interpreter. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. You as well. All right. What about George Canones? I don't have the case number. Does anyone? It was on the docket this morning. The only thing I have is the inmate number for some reason, so I can't call the case number. Um, I think it's nineteen CF seven two four. I don't have the case number from this morning, so I need to make it over the definite case number. I have the email, but I don't have the paperwork. <laughs> so in order for me to type an order, I have to make sure those. 